Hi Floss Tube, um, I'm bringing you the Jessie Marie birthday sal vlog that I did for the last is it 15 days. Um, I've just edited, edited it all together and um, it's cut off. Like when I press record on my phone, I think I should wait a few seconds before I start talking. And also, it sounds like I'm blowing down the microphone sometimes. <laughs> so I'm really sorry about that. Um, yeah, just, um, yeah. Well, so here's the vlog. So today's day one of the Jessie Marie birthday sale and um it's to work on your oldest whip which is red so um i'm gonna be working on this bit here so i'll do that and then um i'll update you i've done now for today um as you can see i've done this bit so um there were two greys I put in this part and then filled in with this purple and then I'll start doing the white here. I'll be working on Angel of Love because it's designed by Marilyn Levitt Imblum. So it begins with M and today's project has to begin with J M D S and I'll be watching Emily C. Hello, so it's about 12 hours later now and I've done quite a lot. As you can see I've done the skin. I did one over one. Um I did think about not doing that. But once you've done it once you kind of I think you kind of have to always do it. Um it's a bit weird how this part here is much paler than the rest of it. Uh, <laughs> and then obviously I came down did this and then the next bit that was a DMC was all the way down here. So this is all metallics and beads. So yeah, done this and this is one of her sleeves. Um, not got the picture on me. So yes, <clears throat> my hoop positioning was obviously not very clever, so I'll move the hoop tomorrow for day three. It's day three is enabled, I believe. Um, so Angel of Love again. I was enabled by Mackenzie, I think, um, from the lovely array and also Emily C. So her face looks terrible through this video. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to try and see if I can do it any more in these bits because there's about 20 different colours in there and then do the other sleeve. That includes day three. Um, I filled in some more colours up here. Uh, I think I've done all the colours now in this part. Um, I did the sleeve, um, this dark blue and some of this hand because um, I was stitching the blue here and thought if I if I bring if I what you call it if I carry the tail across the back and stitch the hand I'll be able to see the black the navy through it. There's that. So yes, not as much done today. Um, I didn't start stitching till late. And tomorrow I'm back at work so there might be less stitching from now on as well. Guys, it's the 18th of April, which means it's day four of Jessie Marie's birthday sale, which is her favourite colours, which are 
maroon or red, uh, orange and purple. So obviously I'm working on red. Um, so I'm going to carry on in this part here and try not to think about the general election that has just been announced. For today, possibly, well, less than six hours, but maximum six hours. Um, so I've done this white, and this, mm, something here, these purpley bits, I've done this little grey bit, and there's purple down there and some purple up here so mostly in this space uh, next time it's white apart from a few bead spaces um, so yeah see you for day five hello it's the next day of um, Jessie Marie's birthday sale and it's animals I think um, so I'm working on Christmas kittens. It is four o'clock already and going to book club later so not got much time to stitch today. Animal day. As you can see I've done uh, this, what's that called, red and some grey along here and I think some of this red as well. Today's the 20th of April and it's to work on something pretty so I'm working on Angel of Love. It's already half past eight at night so I don't know how how much I'll get done but I'm hoping to do some in this sleeve. Four to five minutes later and I am done. Just did this bit here. Guess what? It's the 23rd of April and I haven't stitched for two days. Um, so the plan is to do three in one today. So the first one I missed was something difficult, which without a doubt is the flower calendar because of all the specialty stitches and because um, it's hand drawn chart. So that is difficult. So I'm going to work on that this morning. Well, for as long as I can pull with it. To do some of March. And then, yes, I'm filming on the bed again. Because the boys are in the living room trying to get Glastonbury tickets. Um, so the next day, yesterday, was something close to a finish. And this kitten is close to being finished. Obviously, just need to do the red there and finish this little pom pom thing. I don't know whether I'll do the back stitch because I don't want it to get wrecked in the clamps when I move it for the other two kittens. And then today is number 29. So, what I'm going to do is my Hade Story Keep Enchanted Manor. I'm going to do the 29th colour which is 552 and there's 250 stitches of that so I'm going to cross country this colour so I'll try and update you um, with each one today this is my difficult project loaded up with this big monstrosity hanging down so it's about just gone nine, so I will update you when I've done some. <laughs> so it's about half twelve now, um, so I'm going to start working on this project. Um, yeah, I just did these leaves and then the stems in two strands and then one strand in this leaf. So that is that. Here is Christmas kittens. So I'm going to work on that for the afternoon. Getting a bit tired of stitching already um, but there's not much left to finish on this one. 
so see you later so I've now finished working on the kitten today um, it's just gone four so that's maybe I don't know three and a half four hours so that's me close to a finished project done so the next one is for today today's uh, thingy my bob <laughs> relating to the number 29 as I said earlier 552 is the 29th colour on the list in this head and it is purple and luckily for me it's in with these purple bits I've already done so I'll get on with that for the rest of today so it's 8.30 now and I completed uh, all the 552 on here look at this little one oh it's all alone so yeah obviously I had to grid more with my friction pen um, most of it was up here a bit there, a bit there, a bit there, a bit there. So doing three projects in one day was interesting. It actually feels like the day was longer, which is interesting. Anyway, I'll see you for tomorrow. It's uh, the storybook day. So I'm working on red because it's based on Red Riding Hood. So once upon a time, her mother told her to beware the dangers of the forest. But Red, all grown up, forges her own path. So, yeah, it's based on Red Riding Hood, which uh, kind of is a book. Well, it's in a book. It's in many books, many retellings. Um, yes. So... Here she is at the mow. Uh, be doing this bit, which will be of no surprise. So I'll uh, update you when I've done for today. End of the day now. Um, what should I say? It's about six hours after I started stitching, except I hardly stitched at all, and so a bit of a rubbish effort from me. I did this purple and then the white uh, here in the flower and then just started on this bit. I was hoping to get all this white done but the washing machine broke and I had to cook and had to find out about hotels and then I started reading the local news um, watching Big Bang Theory so it all went to pot really. But uh I enjoyed I enjoyed this bit anyway. Um so next up will be a new start tomorrow, which is very exciting. Happy birthday, Jesse! So today is the day, the most exciting day. It's Jesse's birthday, and uh just for you. I've bought myself a, your birthday present. <laughs> um, so this is Heavenly Cross Stitch, and I bought it for just one design, and it is this one. It's a stained glass angel thingy. And it's got loads of blended colours. But, um, how pretty is that? The rest of the book is totally weird. Like, so it's Christian stuff. It's got the donkey and the baby. Car. That is totally not Jesus. Um... Yeah, just like Christian stuff. So. 
Yes. Um, so that's that. So my new start is finally the Peacock. I swear I bought this like two years ago. Um, it's just a pattern from the magazine. Cross stitch gold it says. Um, uh, yeah, Majestic Peacock by Leslie Tear and doing it on 16 count black Ada, which I also bought years ago. Um, it's going to come out roughly 12 by 6 inches. So, yeah, probably about well, something like the size of the paper. Anyway, so I've just made a working copy and I need to decide well I need to find the middle of my fabric or decide if I'm going to do like do it over there so then I can save some of this or what have you so yeah um, it's I don't know what time it is uh, it's nearly 5pm so um, yes, I'll see you in a moment for my progress. So it's half ten now, and I think I did quite well. This here is this, well, obviously that bit there, and then up his belly, and some of this, this bit. I love it. Um, I did cut the fabric. Um, to, so there were three inches on each side. So tomorrow is the last day. So I will see you for that. Well, today um, it's family. So I thought if this isn't a family of kittens, I don't know what is. Um, yeah. So I'm going to finish back stitching and see if I can get onto another kitten. That's the end of the sal. Um, I finished a kitty and there's a shadow. Yay! So, yeah, on that, I've got the other two kittens to do. So that was my vlog. Um, thanks Jesse for doing the sal. It's probably the first sal I've ever kept up with. Um, apart from where I missed a couple of days. But then I, I caught up. Um, and I hope you had a lovely birthday and let me know if you like, well, if, if improvements were made, if you would like me to vlog again. So, I'll see you um, for my update next, which will probably just be the same as what you've already seen, really. Bye!